Where you go, I'll go Where you stay, I'll stay When you move, I'll move I will follow Hey, welcome again to our direction series for family, faith, and church. My name is Pastor Steve. And I'm Pastor Paul. And today, this week we're taking a look at uh, how we're going to balance life and family. The two things that kind of really push on our, uh, our, our time. How do, we, how do we balance all that stuff out? Uh, but before we do that, maybe we should consider and, and take a look at things that we've learned. We've heard from you uh, from the past week. Uh, those of you who watched the video and commented, we want to say thank you. Uh, and so, Paul, what, what's something we learned from some of the comments? We learned to make sure the video is different from the sermon. <laughs> Good. Good point. Yeah. We yeah. learned to, um, that we're going to keep this shorter and quicker, so we, we can't spend a lot of time on this. <laughs> so people don't spend so much time watching our videos. And, and we learned a lot of other things. So we, we received your comments, and they've been great, and we really appreciate them. That's exactly what we want. So, so keep it up, and, and uh, we will promise to make this a little bit different and uh, quicker. So this week we're, we're talking about trying to balance family and life. And there's so many commitments and, and obligations and, and duties, responsibilities. Um, and, and they kind of press in on us on all, on all sides. And the question for us is, is we kind of struggle with that, is how do we prioritize them? What do we find out that that's important in our lives, <clears throat> right? And, and how do we spend our time, effort, energy on that? Um, and, and so what are, some, what are some ideas that you have for yeah. maybe balancing that? Yeah, I think there are some expectations that we have, and we, we kind of want to just lay these out for you and just kind of play our hand here as pastors, because I think one of the things we don't talk about it enough are the expectations uh, that, that we have as uh, a congregation. And so I guess when I think about time and balancing family and, and, and life, um, for me, my expectation as, as your pastor is that people in our congregation would worship on Sundays. Mm-hmm. And that at some point during the week, they would gather with other Christians. I think those are the two major time commitments that I, that I look at. Now, I, I don't know if that's realistic. I, I know growing up as a, uh, as a pastor's kid, obviously, you know, I was in church on a regular basis. Um, and I remember on Wednesdays, we'd have our kind of midweek classes, and sometimes there are services. And our family would always go out to McDonald's beforehand and that was like a treat for us as kids because we didn't do that very often. And, and uh, you know, we went there and then we went to midweek. And so that was our time during, during the week. Um, I wonder if those expectations are, are realistic. And I, 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 don't, I wonder how many Christians actually have the same expectations. Well, and that, and that same thing is being a, being a pastor, you're at church all the time. Work is church and church is work in, in, in a lot of ways. Uh, but also being a, a pastor's kid, I grew up that way too. Uh, in fact, we grew up out in a rural congregation my father was a pastor of, and so our, our house was the churches. So even home was church. I mean, it was, it was just kind of uh, uh, everything involved, and, and you were just always just kind of there. Um, and so maybe we have a, a, an odd perspective, and maybe it's changed for generations too. Uh, maybe different generations have different perspectives. And so I think the real question that we have for you guys to consider uh, this week is, what is a good or reasonable expectation for us as pastor's kids or as, pa- as your pastors uh, for, for a time commitment uh, per week? What, what, do, what do you think is a good uh, time frame or time commitment with that? And, and let us know. So, so let me just clarify that a little bit. We're not asking you for how much we should work. Okay, <laughs> That's not the question. We only work one day a week. That's true. So just get over it. Um, no, our, so the, the question is, how much should we expect from congregation members? What, what is the expectation? And you, when you talk about balancing life and family, uh, what are the expectations that are realistic for us as pastors to have of you? So do you, in, I was going to say, that includes both on campus, yes. like worship, but then yes. also off campus. What are the connections you're making outside of the church property <laughs> and, and in with fellow Christians. So for example, uh, I meet on Thursday mornings with uh, a small group of, of men. We have a men's Bible study. That's my outside of Sunday morning time with, with other Christians. Uh, I would have that expectation for every member of this congregation along with worshiping on Sunday. And so we, we kind of want to know, 
Uh, is that realistic? Uh, what is realistic uh, for expectations? All right, so you can go to loveofchrist.org forward slash directions. Leave your comments there. Um, are there other ways people, you, I mean, you can email us directly, I suppose, yeah. if you really want. It's really good to send them that way, though. Uh, then we both get them. Um, and I think that we'd, we just love hearing from you and appreciate your engagement on this. Sounds great. All right. Have a great week. See you next time. Hey, welcome again to our uh, continuing s series on directions for uh, church, for family, and for uh, for faith. I think that's I think they're Let's all in there. Over. I don't know. <laughs> Let's just start over. <laughs>